Hello, Williamson County. I'm Carrie Hudson, and welcome to It's About You, an informational program about the classes, activities, and special events offered by the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Well, after another fun and successful summer full of camps, special events, and fun times at our splash park and outdoor pools, we're settling back into our fall schedules and resuming more of our monthly-based facility programming. Today, we're going to be talking about some of our upcoming fall programs through our seniors division with our senior and therapeutic superintendent, Tracy Hamby. Tracy, thank you and your papers for joining I us know. today. I I brought so much information for us to talk about today. It is amazing. We have this general theme, I feel like, over the past couple of years about the growth of the, the department mm -hmm. and the growth of the types of programs, the number of programs, the variety of programs that we offer. But I feel like, in, in especially in your division, we're really seeing that expansion of services um, to different populations within Williamson County. Right. Um, we're still in the process of finalizing our fall newsletters, and that's a lot of the content that we have in front of us right now. But I did um, print off some notes um, to help us today. And in our fall newsletter that'll be coming out around mid-August, the senior section is from page 65 to page 80. And that's this 15. bad boy in front of us mm -hmm. is 30 pages long. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just amazing to me when you stop to think about just the volume of what there is um, that our department as well as within the communities doing for people to be engaged, um, to have recreation and leisure services and the variety that's there for them to participate in. Well, and, and not everybody wants to play cards mm -hmm. or go to a monthly potluck and bingo. They're wanting experiences, whether it's a day trip excursion or a fitness class to stay independent and stay overall healthy and fit. You're getting seniors that want a variety of different experiences and programs, which is why we've got this spread which in front of us. Yeah. We hope to have something for everybody. Well, let's start off mm -hmm. talking about senior fitness, because sure. you do have some new programs that you're adding to the expansive list of senior <laughs> fitness opportunities already. Um, and it's taking a lot of very popular fitness themes and mm -hmm. just placing them into um, an element that makes it more conducive for older adults to participate. It is. So we offer a variety of different programming options fitness-wise on an ongoing basis, but something that we've seen trending not only in senior fitness, but just fitness in general, is sessional-based classes, more boutique-type classes, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've kind of branched out into that for the fall. Um, we are offering an Eccentrics Bar class at our Enrichment Center, which basically is great for any fitness level. You know, the instructor's gonna work on strength training, she's gonna work on stretching. Um, there is a bar component to the class as well too, um, but anybody and everybody can do it, which is nice. This class is gonna be offered on a six week session. Um, it's $50, there is a drop-in fee too if you wanna just kinda of try it out before you, you're kind of on the right. fence, you don't know if you wanna take it or not. Um, but we've had great response with this class, and so we're offering a second session come September. But then new, too, is we're starting a senior boot camp class. And so one of our instructors, Lynn Lee, she currently teaches aqua fitness for us and land-based classes as well, too, kind of brainstormed this idea with our senior fitness coordinator, and they want to offer a boot camp also at the Enrichment Center. Um, Lynn will meet with participants prior to the class starting just to kind of assess the fitness level. Mm -hmm. And then each week, it's going to also be six weeks, each week is going to be a different type of workout. It might be circuit training. She's going to constantly change it out every single week so your body's going to get a great intense Work out, stay challenged, and hopefully we'll get some good results. Yep. So again, that's $50. There's also a drop-in fee, but uh, we're, we're branching out into some of these specialty type classes just to give one other layer of fitness. Right. And just and to see where <clears throat> people's interests lie. You know, I think sometimes when you have a successful program, like our senior fitness program has been extremely f successful for a number of years, you know, adding reimbursable programs mm -hmm. like Silver Sneakers and Silver right. and Fit to the mix helped to expand the numbers of individuals that participated in our senior fitness programs. Um, but still being able to go beyond that and say, well, then, you know, what if we try this? What if we try that? The responsive nature 
there, I think, in you know seeing where people might have interests that we don't yet offer options or programming, right. and working within the department and you know within the facility spaces to see how we can develop new programs, well, how we can grow, yes, um, and meet <clears throat> need is so refreshing. Well, and and to go back to what we were talking about earlier, it's something for everyone. So we have the chair base. Silver Snickers Joe class or, or classic class to now with this senior um, boot camp, we can offer that intense workout. So we're hitting all different types of fitness levels, which I think is great. It's not all yes. catered to one or the other. There's truly something for everybody, regardless if you want to get your yoga on or if you want to participate in a line dancing class. We've got something for everybody. And these sessional programs are a little bit different compared to those ongoing group fitness calendars. The pricing is different. Right. The pricing is different. A lot of them have drop-in fees, but you know, typically for someone who wants to participate in the full six-week session for the new bar program or uh, for the boot camp program, they're going to sign up in advance. A fifty-dollar fee for mm -hmm. six weeks worth. Well, and of they'll classes. get more bang for their buck exactly. if they sign up for the session as a whole versus just the drop-in. But we wanted to give that option in case people were, like I said, kind of on the fence. They weren't mm -hmm. for sure if this class was for them or not. For them or not. Yep. Um, but then all of our other group fitness class. I mean, we're talking four dollars walk-in fee for the seniors, um, or if you have a premium pass or that silver sneakers membership or silver and fit, of course, you know, that is included in your in your pricing or your membership fees, so. Yes, and we have a wonderful <clears throat> senior fitness coordinator who would love to talk you through these kinds of options, um, Kelsey, yes. uh, who um, is so great. She has such a great enthusiasm for this program yes. and um, the types of programs that were being added into it. So if you ever have any questions, um, about our senior fitness offerings, our ongoing classes, our sessional-based programs, what's appropriate for you, how to get started. Kelsey would love to talk to them. And Kelsey would love to them talk find to their them, way. you know, and she'll meet with people occasionally at the Enrichment Center and do orientations on just the wellness equipment. Maybe they want to come to the gym on their own, but they're unsure how to use a particular piece of equipment, and she'll meet with people and kind of walk them through the steps. So she's a plethora of knowledge, um, and so she's a great resource if you just want to bounce those questions off of somebody and get some more information. She's your girl. Yes, absolutely. And you can find Kelsey most days at the Williamson County Enrichment Center. You can reach her at 615-786-0186. And she also roves around all the different facilities as well, too. So she's really gotten to know our patrons, um, first name basis. They're like, and they'll see each other, you know, and they think they're here. She's here to come see an aqua fitness class or maybe land class. And so she's starting to build those reports. So it may be that folks have already seen her in one of our rec centers and just don't realize that's who she is. That's who she is. Yeah. yeah. She's getting out, making friends. Yep. Um, well, fall is another um, Keystone program for us now. Discover Williamson. I know. Um, I can't believe, is this our third or fourth session of Discover so Williamson? So we are going into our one, two, three, fourth session of the Discover Williamson program. Um, initially, it was the Discover Franklin program offered through the Council on Aging. Um, we are now collaborating with the Council on Aging, and we rebranded the program as Discover Williamson. So each session, we offer one in the fall and the spring. Um, it's a six-week session. And it'll focus um, on Williamson County and all the resources and um, components that we have going on in this county. Each day is a different theme. Government day, health day, community resources, volunteerism, livability, you name it. We've got a different theme for each day. And so we'll hear from community leaders. Um, it could be the mayor of Franklin or the mayor of Williamson County. It could be... Williamson Inc., someone from that group. Um, so a variety of different business professionals, community leaders, and they will talk about what's going on in our mm -hmm. county. You're going to learn the ins and the outs. Um, so our fall session is coming up in uh, starting the beginning of September. It's $99. We meet from 9 to 2 every Thursday between September 5th, and I believe we end October 10th. Um, Transportation is provided, lunch is provided, and it's just a fun way to learn about your community. Absolutely. Well, especially as we see like one of the highest um, statistical groups moving into Williamson County are seniors. Yes. It's a great way to get to know your new community. Yes. Um, it's also great for individuals who maybe um, are retiring, mm -hmm. you know, and they're, or, or, you know, 
certain stages of their lives, they've been very involved in other things. And as they enter a new stage in their life and they're wondering like, well, you know, what's something else I can get involved in or what's something right. new that, you know, I can become a part of. Discover Williamson's a great way to, it's a great resource to find those avenues for involvement. Yes, and we actually surveyed the group um, this past spring, the very first day. We kind of talked with our patrons and got a feel for who they were. You know, are they new to Williamson County? Have they lived here all their life? Um, I would say easily 95% of our group had recently moved to Williamson County between the last five years. Mm -hmm. And so just to get their take on everything each week as we learn something new, they just... You come to a new city more than likely to move closer to your family mm -hmm. and to get to know about all the different resources available to you within this county. Just the eyes. The eyes were so big as they were learning everything. So it was really great for them to learn. Absolutely. Uh, more detailed information about Discover Williamson's available through our website at yes. wcparksandrec.com. Mm -hmm. um, if registration is for full for the fall session, because you do have a limited number of spots, this is an ongoing program. Yes. So there will be other dates to look forward to in the future as yes. well. Yes. And we keep that information current on our website. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. We'll move on into a couple of other okay. um, fall-based programs. I feel like there are so many places that we could start um, based off just the sheer volume of um, programs and activities that you all offer now. Uh -huh. uh, the fall contains all the favorites, all the potlucks and bingos. The lunch and learns. The lunch and learns. Um, things that people have come to anticipate in terms of senior programming. And expect. And expect, <laughs> exactly. And expect. Um, there's still all of those, you know, card and game days at the Enrichment Center and at the uh, Williamson County Recreation Complex at Nolan's Full. And with Longview, we've started the, that up at Longview as well, too. Long our Spring well. facility. Um, and um, lots of great programming options in the facility as well. There's, you know, a tremendous amount, I feel, um, in the arts now. You're doing so many art-based programs, especially at the Enrichment Center yes. where you have open art studios, watercolor studios, the beginnings of pottery. Mm -hmm. It just goes on and on and on. So, and some of those classes are senior-specific, and some are kind of in conjunction with our programming division where it's adult and up. But, yeah, we offer the open watercolor mm -hmm. and and then we also have the Open Art Studio. Both of those are on Mondays at the Enrichment Center. And it's a great way to learn about art, if, especially if it's a new hobby that you're picking up. Uh, we have a wonderful instructor. Her name's Pam Irvin. Um, and it's it's very affordable. If you have an Enrichment Center pass, it's $2. It's drop-in. There's no registration. You come as you can. Bring your own supplies. We've got some supplies stocked in the cabinets as well, too. And, and Pam's just there to offer guidance if it's needed. So it's not going to be one of those situations where you're going to learn how to paint something from start to finish. You're going to kind of come in and work on your own projects. Everybody's doing something different. Something different. But she's there to help guide you if you need it. Yes. So that, um, the open art is open to a variety of different painting styles, if you will. But then the afternoon class is strictly watercolors. So same pricing structure, and, you know, frame. Structure. And then as well as um, Pam teaching that as well, too. Yes, so. as well. Then you also have keys and strings for seniors. I love this. Mm -hmm. um, but for people who um, are into knitting and crocheting. We've and, got a yarn club yep, that meets every club. single Wednesday, both crochet and knitting. It's it's not particular to one type of style or the other, but it's if you like yarn crafts, just come on. There's still our great dulcimer dandies group that meets on an ongoing mm -hmm. basis at the Enrichment Center and a really good book club. We do, we do. We have book clubs that meet um, at the Enrichment Center, and then we've got some groups that are more in conjunction with the Williamson County Public Library as well, too. So there's a club and a hobby for whoever. For who, whoever, whoever wants to join and have fun. For the people who just want to have <clears throat> Fun. Yeah. Love it. Um, for our active seniors, we have tons of options mm -hmm. in terms of senior athletics as well as some great day trip options. Yes. We're going to talk a little bit more about those. Perfect. But first, we need to take a quick break. Okay. So y'all stay tuned. When we come back, we'll spend more time talking about senior programming with the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Being a foster grandparent has definitely given me a purpose in life. I love Grandma Lydia. My favorite thing about Grandma Kara is doing a lot of fun activities. Just been so happy, just so much more energy than being at home alone, doing nothing but watching TV. It's the best part of my life. I'm a best student because of her. 
She helps me with reading sometimes. I am so proud of the work that I do here. The best part of being a foster grandparent volunteer, watching the light light up in the kids' eyes. Couldn't be more satisfying. It makes a difference that you get involved with young people. Being a foster grandparent has been a, a wonderful, wonderful experience for me, and I'm not going to give it up. I'm living again, and the foster grandparent did that for me. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma Carol. Thanks, Grandma Jen, for helping me. Welcome back to It's About You. We're talking today about programming options this fall for our seniors division. And uh, we're joined with our senior superintendent, Tracy Hamby. We've been talking about a variety of different things in the first half of the show, from fitness-based classes to club-based um, groups, you know, more or less, right. in, in um, all different fashions. Um, and for the second half of the show, we're going to be dealing with probably more of the active senior, um, the individual who, you know, likes to get up, get out, get going. Mm -hmm. um, do stuff. Do stuff, mm -hmm. yes. Because there is a, a ton of things that we have found over the years as our senior programming division has grown and our the demographics of seniors in the Williamson County area have grown. We have a very active senior population um, mm -hmm. in, in this part of the country um, that's, you know, looking for engaging, fun, physical activities to do. Yes. Um, and we have a, you have a wonderful staff, multiple people on your staff that help, that help facilitate this type of programming for the community. We have a tremendously well-rounded senior athletics and sports program. Mm -hmm. Plus, probably, in my mind, one of the most comprehensive trip schedules there is, from people who just want a two-hour lunch trip to people who want to go out all day to right. experience parts of the Middle Tennessee area. Um, there is, again, we'll say it, something Option. for everyone. Yeah. We have nothing <laughs> if not options. Um, let's start off talking about senior athletics mm -hmm. um, and some of the activities that Crystal Turner's doing at Academy Park. What is she not doing at Academy uh, no. Park? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing when you look at all these different things. Um, we have the extenuation of some traditional programs, mm -hmm. like our bowling program and our Wii Sports programs that we do at the Enrichment Center as well as the Longview Recreation Center right. at Spring Hill. Um, but for that physically active senior athlete, there is a variety of opportunities Opportunities from open play to specifically designed leagues right. um, mm -hmm. to keep them physically fit and engaged and active. I mean, we all know um, this is Middle Tennessee. We're going to have summer till November. <laughs> um, so they can be out and doing yes. all these fun, 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 fun things. Um, and she changes things up seasonally. Yes. Um, so it's not like it's pickleball league after pickleball league after pickleball league. She tries other types of leagues, too, to make sure we're offering a variety of different sports. Well, pickleball is very popular. It is the popular choice, and, hands down. Yeah, <laughs> and there is a lot of opportunity to play pickleball yes, in our is. schedule. You are right. There's a <laughs> lot of different things that she puts into the mix. Mm -hmm. So, of course, going into the fall, we are keeping our ongoing pickleball open play format yes. at the Academy Park Gymnasium on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays where people can drop in Correct. just to play. Yes. They get the added benefit of being able to play inside the gymnasium mm -hmm. at Academy Park where it's air-conditioned. Yes. Um, and then there's also the courts um, outdoors at Academy Park as well where if you want to reserve that outdoor time, you can do that too. We have an open play table tennis program that's mm -hmm. going to be in September. There's a bocce ball league coming up in October at Academy Park and a cornhole league in November. So like you said, a lot of great seasonal sports um, that take advantage of the landscape at Academy Park for a variety of different kinds of sports. We do, we do. Uh, so those are just a few fall highlights, and we'll go ahead and fast forward to the spring. She's done a kickball league before, um, as well as wiffle ball, and so this is something that we change up with Beach the season. volleyball was a great one we did. Beach volleyball summer. is an ongoing thing mm -hmm. as well, too, and that's the enrichment center. So there's a variety of different types of sports to try out. You know, and you may love one, not so much the other, but there's there's something available there is something, regardless. Absolutely, uh, pickleball continues into the fall as well. And she'll pick um, back up her her evening league, daytime and evening leagues this fall. We do the indoor, um, the 
daytime league is indoors, but the outdoor courts are used for the evening league. So we've got one for the retired senior, or if we've got some folks that are still working, they have an option available to them as yes. well, too. That's the other thing when we're dealing <clears throat> with, you know, what we term our seniors, uh, because we classify our seniors, anyone ages 55 or, or over. And for senior sports, and it's actually 50, which mirrors Tennessee Senior, senior Olympics. Olympics. That's right. So you're getting a, a wide cross-section of individuals at that point that, you know, some are still working, some aren't. Right. Some are working in part-time capacities and things like that. So we're still trying to alternate programming to meet a variety of schedules. Yes. And yes. Uh, trying to do our best yes. um, to, to hopefully facilitate that well. Um, there's, you know, also an amazing amount, oh, well, and we do have to say, too, that in true Crystal fashion, she rounds out all of her senior sports at the end of the um, quarter with a great cookout. I she love does. how she brings people together and that, you know, you can have a lot of fun within your league or your sport or, you know, Especially playing when there's food involved. <laughs> um, but I love the opportunities when, you know, it's just a fun day for everyone to get together, you know, if you've been doing, you know, X, Y, Z, if you've in the bocce ball league if you've been playing pickleball or something like that where she just offers a social opportunity for people she to does so she's got a fall field day planned where they can sample a variety of different sports um, we're actually going to do a few little yoga mini sessions as well too kind of giving a shout out to our fitness program that we talked about earlier we provide the entree it's hamburgers and hot dogs there's a minimal fee involved and that's basically to cover the cost of food and supplies and then folks can come in socialize with one another try out some pickleball or try out this cornhole or whatever have you um, but it's just a fun day and they, they love to come eat yes and socialize it's always fun it's always good it's always fun <laughs> all right let's get into these trips so many there's there's a trip for everybody there that is. we're offering this fall through the williamson county parks and recreation department um you know everything from hiking and mm -hmm. sports based trips to our lunch bunch to our day trips yes um <clears throat> a huge huge variety of different kinds of programs yes um hiking trips this fall there's going to be one to stones river national battlefield mm -hmm. in um, September and October, we're doing the Harpeth River State Park Hidden Lake. Um, in November, it's Cheeks Bend Bluff. So moving all around the kind of middle Tennessee area to yes. experience some different types of outdoor nature. Activities. Yes, so we offer the hikes year-round, always on a Wednesday, always once a month. Um, it's three bucks. Bring a snack and water, wear appropriate shoes. We have a good time. Yes, absolutely. But then we also... Um, that's something that Crystal puts together. In addition to the hiking, we've also branched out to other outdoor excursions that are more catered to the active senior. Um, this past month, we were taking a group of seniors whitewater rafting for the first time. We've done horseback riding trips, canoeing trips, going to a sounds game. Uh, she changes it up every single month. But she offers a variety of different other outdoor recreation options in addition to the hiking trips it's as hiking. well, too. Yes. These are our senior sport trips. Mm -hmm. and this fall, they include a guided uh, canoe trip on the Duck River, horseback riding at Always NASA's popular. Trace Riding Stables, mm -hmm. another good one, and then zip line at Adventure Works. That one's a new one. Never taken the folks zip line yeah. before, but we're going to do it. Crystal is not afraid. She's not afraid. She is not. And we've got an, a group that they're very much wanting those adventure type experiences, and I think we're, we're giving them that good option. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you mentioned earlier, you know, everybody always loves lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. And our lunch bunch group is just that. It's an opportunity for a group of people to get together, go out, and try eat. a new restaurant, and yes, and eat and socialize and have yep. fun. We have lunch bunch groups that meet through the Williamson County Enrichment Center as well as the Longview Recreation Center at Spring Hill. Yes. Um, this fall, their destinations include Nets Count or Nets County Store. Mm -hmm. The Davis General Store um, in Leapers Fork, um, Miller's Grocery, so really some great local uh, hits. We try to find restaurants off the beaten path yes. that have great reputations for being the best food out there. Um, we also will sometimes do different themes, like a quarter might be, let's go eat this new, you know, variety of different Mexican restaurants, or it could be pub food, you name it, mm -hmm. we eat good food. Get all the time. All the time. All the time. In Spring Hill, they're hitting up Katie Pie's Country Kitchen, 
Van, Van Dyes? I've never Van heard Dyes? of it, I've but I'm sure either. it's fabulous. If you haven't, <laughs> sign up for the trip. Um, and then Cities as well, which lots of new places, again, like you said, off the beaten track, just trying new kinds of things in your community. As far as our day trips are concerned, I mean, there are several different ones. I'm counting at least nine that you have planned through the fall that are open to individuals through the Enrichment Center or the Longview Recreation Center at Spring Hill or both. Oh, combined, yes. Um, that are going to a numerous different places in and around the Middle Tennessee From area. From distilleries to Cheekwood, to you Cheekwood, name it. Cheekwood, um, to um, some like, Apple picking. Yeah, the Morning Glory Orchard, mm -hmm. Amish uh, Heritage Welcome Center, Museum. Jack Daniels and Miss Bobos. Mm -hmm. all, kinds all kinds of fun, of fun stuff. Fun. Capping it all off with a tour at the governor's mansion. I know. Um, so too many trips for us to go into and individually list now. But all this information is available on our website at wcparksandrec.com. And registration for these programs will be starting very soon. Yes. So if you're looking for activities for your fall calendar, visit us online and find out how you you can get involved uh, in our senior programming. Uh, we do have one more program to talk about. We kind of saved the best I for know. last. Uh, we have a new kind of event that we are doing with our seniors this fall um, that's just, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I know. There's so many different things that's going to be included in this day, but if anything else, the title of it will tell you you're in for a good time. We are, we are doing our first ever murder mystery lunch. So we are working with a company based out of Nashville. They provide the actors. We can kind of customize our storyline, but our seniors are going to sign up. Somebody's going to die. Not really, but, you know, <laughs> pretend die. And then as a team, we're going to have to figure out who did it. Who done it. So in addition to this fabulous show, of course, lunch is going to be involved, too. We're going to do a catered lunch. Because so you know all, what the people like. They're going to want the food, too. Um, so it's all-inclusive. It's a little bit more pricey than some of the other things that we have offered, but for 50 bucks to get to have lunch and have this entertainment right there at the Enrichment Center, I think this will go over very well, and we're excited to see kind of how this what special events are going to be on the horizon now that we're trying this? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is coming up the end of October. It's a Friday, October 25th. Right around so Halloween. So lovely time, time of year. Mm -hmm. Yes, lovely time of year for a murder mystery. Um, and we're really looking forward to this. You know, we hope a lot of people enjoy this new kind of foray into senior programming that we are trying. Um, and, you know, I hope this is only the beginning of kind of, you know, a new component to our senior programs where we get to incorporate more of the dramatic art. Yes. into some of our yes. popular senior programs and activities. Yes. It'll be good. So information about the Murder Mystery in October is also available through our website. Again, there are pages of information. Mm -hmm. um, you can get information through our website at wcparksandrec.com. You can get information by following us through our social media channels on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or you can get information just the good old-fashioned way on some paper okay. um, mm -hmm. with our senior newsletter. Um, Tracy and her staff do a great job uh, emailing copies of the senior yes. uh, newsletter to our distribution groups. If you would like to be added to that list, you can sign up for it through the website. Yes. Um, they also put paper copies in our main recreation facilities. Mm -hmm. So if you're stopping by any of um, our main facilities in Brentwood, Fairview, Franklin, Nolensville, or Spring Hill, you can pick up a current copy there as well, and you will have a three-month at-a-glance look at a variety of different senior programs that we'll be offering um, September, October, and November. Yes. Excellent. Well, we did it. We covered it. I know. Um, barely scratched barely, the surface. Exactly. Didn't go into a whole lot of details, but I hope that you guys know there's a lot to look forward to this fall for individuals 50 and up, and we hope to see you at some of our Williamson County Parks and Recreation Senior Programming soon. Tracy, thanks so much. It's been wonderful to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I want to thank you guys for joining us for another edition of It's About You. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, Williamson County, it's all about you.